Let's go. I made it this far. One video in. Uh, at this point, some people might feel like quitting because it's a lot easier. But quitting is not going to be an option. last video, I listed my goals. Perfect. In fact, I had just started writing them before I realized I had 65 goals. 65. Some being objectively simple goals. While others were a bit more extreme. But all of them, I think, possible. So I am doing all of these things, apparently. And why not? It's not foolish to think these things are possible. So I know I wrote my goals down on this laptop, but for this channel, I'm gonna be writing each individual goal on paper. I'm a big fan of paper. This is paper. That's important paper to me. Animations on paper. These are paper. Lots of paper. That's paper. That's paper. That's paper. Movie stubs. These are paper. These are paper. Letters are paper. I made this out of paper. Paper. Papers. Playing cards are paper. Paper. Movie poster. Paper. Cheat sheet on meter and rhythm. Paper. Make sewing patterns out of wrapping paper. This whole map wall is paper. In fact, I'll write them all right here. Paper. What am I doing first? What am I doing? What am I? Actually though, it is a good question to ask. It's really important to assess yourself and your motives. Understanding why you want to do things is a huge step in completing those things. It helps me see things in a different perspective, in a new light, if you will. I think purpose should drive the things we do. That's just me, but without purpose I feel less motivated. I know when I dissect the purpose or reason of a certain task, then I'm able to find motivation from a bigger source, and then I'm more likely to complete my goals, rather than veer off in a different direction. Look, we're getting somewhere. Obviously, the purpose of a given goal can be as simple as it being something that makes you feel fulfilled. Or complex, like it being something that you can now put on your resume to have a higher chance of being hired for the salary sock technician spot you've been trying so hard to get at your favorite footwear company. The point is, it's good to identify the reason why. Each goal has a specific purpose. Sailing for me opens up opportunities all around the world to explore this beautiful planet more intimately. But. On a much broader scale, what is the purpose for this channel? I could say it's simply a way for me to do more, which is true. Or I could say it gives me an outlet for my creativity, which also is true. But it goes deeper than that. One of my 65 goals was to inspire people, and that could be glossed over as some fancy rhetoric to sensationalize my goals. But it actually is a huge reason for this channel. By showing my journey as I practically strive towards completing goals, I hope for you to do the same. I hope to complete goals so that you too can see that they can be done. I hope I am successful in doing so, so that you too can do more. And if I'm not, well this is awkward. The beauty of it is, is that you and I don't have to check off every single goal we've ever written down to be successful. We just have to start. You can start now. Little things to spark your creativity, get moving, or provoke your thinking. This isn't going to be easy, but honestly I hope it isn't. Because that's what makes adventure, right? So what am I doing first? What is it? Jeez. Okay, so I just want to make it clear that um, before I write down any goal, I want to make sure that I'm writing down the correct goal. And this one is kind of boring, but it's really necessary for me to do the rest. And then sometimes- Just shut up. Okay. 